remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Around the country, there is a growing call to abolish police departments. <laughs> you heard me right. I know some of you are freaking out because you really do believe that the police love you. They want them gone. They want them dismantled. Why? Because policing in America don't work. It's not flawed. It is corrupt. It is damaged beyond repair. Why? You got too many race soldiers in police departments around America that target black and brown people. But they also target certain white folks that they don't like. They will brutalize you, beat you up, rape you, steal your money, and break into your home and call you all kinds of words and dare you to shoot them. And they'll escape. Why? Because they got the badge and they got the connection for the protection. Now, some people are saying that this call to replace police officers with full economic equality and some type of uh, grants for poor communities is unrealistic because they're saying that doing that alone is not going to solve the issue because they don't believe that people are inherently good. These are the opponents. They're saying that they don't believe that people are inherently good. And it's basically alluding to the fact that police officers are innocent of any type of behavior that society have. Like, they, they don't have anything to do with it. Like, police officers getting away with murder and killing people and, and stealing and robbing and, and brutalizing people has nothing to do with how society views uh, law enforcement or crime and punishment. A Fox News contributor was asked, what do he think the world would look like without police? And this riding scoundrel fixed his stank mouth to say, wealthy communities would quickly organize a private police force to maintain order. Well, get this family. Poor communities would organize around criminal gangs because in a vacuum of power, whoever can dominate physical power will rule. So basically, that's what's been happening all this time with the police. They dominate physical power, so they rule. So they get off when they kill people. They plant drugs on people. They plant other evidence on people. They steal people's money. They steal people's property straight out of their home. Kick doors in and all kind of stuff. Call your names and, and don't even get arrested. Absolutely amazing. For him to make this distinction between the wealthy and the poor, making a moral distinction between wealthy and poor based on the amount of money that you have, shows you what kind of people you're dealing with. It's like he's not paying attention to all the damn crime that go on on Wall Street. All these damn crooks. All these bank crooks. All these corporate crooks. And we ain't got to go even for his corporate crooks. We going to go with the other crooks out there too. The ones that's making middle income and the poor, uh, the other poor ones who live in the trailer parks. When he talk about poor, what he's really trying to say is that if you're poor, then your moral compass you don't have. You don't have a moral compass if you're poor. 
That's basically what he's saying. With all these damn stories, all these rich people committing crimes. Rich people is the reason why the economy sunk pre-Obama. It was the rich people who was looting America, just like it's the rich people right now looting the country right now. And we're about to head into a new recession, I can guarantee you. We're going into it. We will see a recession within the next few months. But they, they got to have somebody. They got to always have a scapegoat. And the easiest scapegoat to have is those who uh, find it difficult defending themselves and don't have the resources to defend themselves. So these people are just out here trying to survive while the, the people who got the power are over here plotting and planning and using the media to push their agenda and blame everything on the poor. Not having police in your community ain't necessarily a bad thing. There was a time when we had Black Panthers in the community, in the Black community, and the communities were safer. And they, in fact, they checked the police. The only problem with just saying that, okay, we're going to have our people in patrolling our neighborhoods is that when your people leave those neighborhoods, who's going to be patrolling? So it doesn't change the mindset of a race soldier or a dirty cop that don't like you just because of your skin color. So they catch you outside of that zone, then they're going to roll on you. So, police in our own can't just be the answer. But it's a damn good start. What do we have to lose? No more talk. What the ladies talking about?